the thing is Nairobi now akuna wanaume have you guys experienced body privilege like how you have pretty privilege Linda are you still friends with your bestie QP why didn't you speak about the femicide issue Later. Okay, so before I even update you whether I'm a Patanana Corazon or not, hold on, let me tell you. The last 20 minutes have been torture. Torture. Yani, I'm so distraught. First of all, I'm a Patanana Corazon to me and to argue direct. What's wrong with you? You, what's wrong with you? But before I get to that, I was so distraught for the last 20 minutes because I couldn't find my khakis. Kumbe, nilikuwa ni meziweka kwa boots. Anyway, Corazon is here. Say hi. <laughs> hi. This one, we were supposed to meet at seven. She comes at nine, and by the time she gets there, I can't see her. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I got there at eight, and eight? I told you, eight yes, what? eight seventeen. Regardless, okay. I told you, mm -hmm. kwa nyumba mm -hmm. at around seven thirty ish, thereabout. Yes. There was traffic on James Gishuru. What when you on a she side, please? Ah. There was traffic. Against, that's against traffic. I get here and then she tells me, Oh, I've gone to drop my, my son and school. Was that part of the plan? Uh, the plan to was me, to drop him together, but you were taking too long. So I said, Let me go and then come back before you get here. Because now I was I was not, not trusting your time. Okay. So, I, have you really like are you really in James Gishuru or not? Because I had waited for so long. Mm. <laughs> she lost I her keys. my keys. In fact, yeah, I'm Because now, the stranger, should... I'm going to your mangoes. But then, you know, you can't get your so mangoes. Because no one's going to get your mangoes. Because no one's going to get your boots. It can't be. I'm going to get your boots. I'm like, what are your house keys doing in the boots? <laughs> when I look on this other side, I'm going to get your house keys. When I look on this other side, I'm going to get your house keys. Who does that? Then I'm going to get your house keys. Aki, I'm so sorry. Honestly, I'm going to get your house keys. I'm going to get your house keys. Aki, you know? Pole. But I'm going to get your house keys. <laughs> Mimi, staki makasiri kwa tena. Wa hasira hasara. Not asubuhi. Wewe hapana. Hebu acha tanikunywa maji. Eh hey, nilikuwa na stress. Alafu tuna start gari na sikia gari na start. So which so we know it's, key, in it's in the car. We've turned the car upside down. Wee, tumeangalia. Tumeangalia. The last place we've got yeah, yeah, is the boot. Which akwa ni kwa boot. So oh, tunachukua two sandwich take away then we're going to do the Q&A. By the way, I asked you guys on Instagram to ask us anything. So we can start. We can start. The questions were asked on my Instagram. So how do we do this? So answer from the beginning. So of course, Nimob. The first question. How did you meet? I guess Asasa Sisi. Oh, how did we meet? Kwa Muma. No. We didn't meet Kwa Muma. Oh, yeah. We met. We were, we had, we were in a campaign together. Mm, so so skin skin campaign. But of course, I had been seeing you. I think you had already bought some stuff from my shop. Because mm. mm. I remember that day. Mm. I don't think you remember, but... When you called them, the one who answered the phone, and you said your waist was 26 and your hips were 44, and mm. I almost choked. I was driving, I almost <laughs> choked. I was like, what? <laughs> so, 
so I had I like I had told me that story yes, before. Yes, I already knew you from Instagram. Mm. So then when we went to the campaign, I walked in your house. You were already seated and mm. we just like said yes, hi did, yeah. and talked and that's how we met. So I remember that day when we met, we clicked, but mm, I said to not change numbers or anything. Yes. Yes. Were too, like, so now my little Tuli Bond was at Muma Studio. Tuli Patana Uko. And then if you've been to Muma Studio opposite, there's a restaurant in it for Gugaucho. So we were like, let's let's order for a wine. wine. Yeah, the rest is history. history. Mm, yeah, That's we how we now. bonded over wine. Yeah. We bonded <laughs> over wine. Okay, this is just about a coat that I was wearing—a white coat. I mm -hmm. think I'll put it on the screen. I got it from Zara. Are you content with what, what you, you guys, guys do, do online? online? Uh -huh. <laughs> how am I? I'm very good. I'm I'm in a very good space. I'm very happy. You know, like my kids have started school. Uh, biz, my business is thriving. Very I'm thriving. Thank You're you. Doing so well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, what I do online, you know, it's here and there. That's like up and down. Up and down. sometimes I enjoy it. Sometimes I don't. It just it's it like a, yeah it depends on love hate relationship it's a love hate relationship sometimes i really enjoy it then sometimes you see some weird stuff and then you don't enjoy it as much so it just keeps going it's up and down up and down mm. like life mm. I, I think i'd agree social media seem chezo yani you have to have the, the heart, heart for it it's, it's not easy mm. however upper malumaliza how you guys just tell us how are you personally i'm okay i'm doing well i'm content with where i am in my life currently and just a new to like work life balance most of you know i have an eight to five so mm. Mm, new to balance how do you okay maybe the question is are you content with what you guys do online i am content just like she said it's love hit sometimes i'm content i'm happy with it and then sometimes where hey because like, people can be very rough on mm. social media people can be very mm. mean so yeah but for the most part w would you leave like is, is this something is the negativity enough for you to say i'm leaving the space no but uh, enough for me to say i'm taking a long break I've, I've been thinking about it for a while now yeah 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 actually you've mentioned that before maybe okay next question uh phd yako ni anini ebu to i think i have a phd in management and leadership and i have a whole video on on my on my channel on that so feel free to go watch it if, okay not a question but commending you ladies for setting the pace wanna see more of you on my screen and borrow a few tips oh thank you so much Yvonne Kigonda food in Africa thank you Yvonne ni ni mangalia food ni ni kasa thank you so commercial break we need to eat we'll answer the rest as we go ama okay so you can eat eating and vlogging. Your background in a cookie a poa. Diesel. Bazoon do upper. Five thousand. Kuni hey. diesel. Any diesel. Garami ni diesel. Diesel at a sunny get the care fifteen bus. Cindy yo. Kasirika. <laughs> Kasirika. I keep on leaning. I know the screen is crooked, but we're trying to make it work. <laughs> so because we have to do it in the yeah, car. Yeah, we have to do it in the car. Do you feel pressure of having kids like your friend? No. I, you know, that's actually a very strange question to ask because I'm sure people wouldn't ask you, do you feel pressure because your friend doesn't have kids? kids. Uh, like, do you feel like you're missing out? Yeah. Eh. Mm -hmm. I think so to, it's mm -hmm. just because like people always assume that women's goal is just to have kids. To be mothers yes. and all that. For me, I just believe I'll just go with God's plan, God's, God's timing, space. Yeah, God's pace. My time will come. Mm. However, right now it's not my time. Yeah. But of course, I'm learning one or two things from her mothering. Yes, and, yeah. and one of the things that I always tell you is it's not easy. Yes. So by the time, like, you should never be pressured because by the time, right now you've done your your masters, you've done your PhD, mm. you're like you're doing well where you are. Thank you. Having kids maybe could have even slowed you down if you mm. had kids mm. earlier. Yeah. So whatever time you decide to have them, have mm. them when you're very very ready financially mm. and. Mm. Mentally, because Sira he see by the way, it's not glamorous. Thank you. And you know what I can appreciate about you is your mm. honest. Because most moms wanna say manga, oh, mtoto na kujana sani yake. Itu kiweza tu. Well, and yes, okay, maybe it's true that mtoto kujana sani yake. But, but uh, utaki sani ya plastic. Exactly. Yes, yeah, exactly. So 
I, I do appreciate the honesty. Some women are not mm. usually honest about how hard the journey is. People have glamorized the idea of having kids. I feel like they're having kids because it's an accessory. I don't know. Yeah. A, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. yes. Anyway, but yeah, yeah okay. Sure. But you are you glamorize and most moms not being honest about it. I think mm. it's also because of the stigma. Because if there you say mm. it's hard for you mm. being a mom, people mm. just assume you're a bad mom. A bad mom. Yes. Ah, okay. So people will just pretend like, oh, I got it together. I got it together. But yeah. they're dying inside. Okay. Yeah. Well, I enjoy being a mom. Mm. It's so beautiful. Like you can never have a bad day. Mm. But let's walk in a pesa. Kwa zamani say wa mingi shule. Yo ni mejo ayo pressure. Yo ni <laughs> no, you'll make it, mommy. Uta I'll make sawa, it. Eh. Uta sawa. How was 22 for you? My early 20s were horrible in the, in the sense of being broke. But other than that, it was so much fun. I just want to say, some people like oh, you guys have seen Bara on my channel. You've seen Lydia. I don't know what you're now on campus. So we were broke, but it was a lot of fun. That's, that's all I can say. What about yeah. you? 22. 22, I was in uni or something. It was fun. We were broke. To look at Nakula Pop a mess, Chakula twenty pop. Okay, what a five hundred pop me. Five hundred pop is a lot of money. Five hundred was a lot. Who boiled my ragwin and Nanina Yoke to the coil? Did you live in the school dome? I mean, nearly she hostel first year, then I convinced my parents to get a bit of 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 a that is where life began. And you, you live in the hostel. You live in the hostel. You live in hostel the whole time. I need to show you a picture of my dorm and me. I think dorm. I saw. Zile 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 Zile. Her body was still banging even back but then. But room now, it was a good go. But to manage, it was fun. All we could think about is going to Bacchus, yeah. having some shots and mm. then dancing the whole yeah, night. Life was, was good. Life was so easy. easy. Yeah. Say now, when I'm 22 years old, I'm going to get pressure. What? Wow. 22, 21 year olds. I don't know if too. Generally, too early 20 says you are going to pressure. I mean, even teenagers. Yeah. People have so much hey, pressure. Actually, me, me, my, my brother is, I think, 21 right now. Now, I'm going to get pressure. Mm. Why? Mm -hmm. Someone else asked. Okay. Speak to a 23 year old lady who looks up to you. I'd say. Just to go back to what we just said, usijipe pressure. Go with your own pace. Don't mm -hmm. compare yourself to anyone. And then know that no no one at 23 has it figured out. Try and enjoy life, surely. Yeah. At 23, enjoy your life. Be responsible. Um, what else can I say? Um, I think those would be the main things. Yeah, and I would probably just say the same. G Bambe, mm. you're 23. Najwa says social media now, but your pressure, you are looking at other 23 year olds. Mm. You're seeing them driving. Mm. Now, Jota Kama Magari Nizao. Nizao. Like, eh, pressure eh, nata Kama Nizao. Iyo ni maisha yao. Ni maisha yao. Yako utakuja at your old time. G Bambe, wacha mm. kujistress. Mm. Na hao wa naume, mm. jichunge sana na hao. Wee. And also. <laughs> Apo sana sana. Eh, Sayu, unajua hao watu waze waze the 30 year olds and 40 year olds who come for you because you're young yes ji chunge mm. kabisa wasiku danganya wasiku westie maisha mm. sai yata tukona hizo ma stories za femicide hey. wasichana wana chapo wasichana hey. wana uliwa na ni hao ma 23 year olds you know why yeah. because you're vulnerable mm. they know that you know mm. you probably uko na ma pressure za pesa mm. uko na ma pressure za kukua na boyfriend and all that mm. trust me in five years in ten years those men won't matter. Yeah. Iso mapesa has it matter. Mm. So take care of yourself. Listen to your instincts. Listen to your parents. Mm. But also don't forget to enjoy yourself. Because kwa your process ya kuji enjoy na kufanya mm. vitu, mm. that's when you discover mm. who you really are. Yeah, true. Not a question, but I love, I'd love to say you guys are an inspiration to me. Oh. Hey guys, what is maturity to you? When do you say that I'm now mature? Hey, never. You never. To about you, you to never. I swear, you'll never get there. As in, you'll just, you just learn that it's not. <laughs> See at the end, all be all like I'm so mature. I'm so mature. That is the end. I'll never learn anything else. Mm. No, it's always a learning curve because every day you wake up, it's something new. New. So eh. maturity. maturity. Some people could think I'm very mature, but let us win to look to make a serikiana. I'm trying as a figure. We are very mature. Yeah. Yeah. We are so mature. <laughs> but we're also saying that one aspect of like achieving that maturity is mm. also being in control of your feelings Emotions. and also understanding that ego is mm. such a useless thing yes so true. like losing that ego mm. and being 
in control of your feelings and your emotions mm. is and one aspect of you know maturity. maturity. Agreed. So to see my mayapa, to go yeah. viewpoint, guys. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been dating your current person? Yo, you guys. I need a savannah for that question, first of all. <laughs> Why, why are you in my business like that? Is it time to start putting pressure on him? <laughs> you know, to bring the ring. I'm to watch a kidogo kwanza. Hey, okay, peer pressure. That you never works. Ring, that <laughs> never. You also send your wallet. Hey, na ata kwa ibisha. We've been together for a year. Oh, okay. Mm, we've been okay. together for a year, so so far so good. But uh, missing a pressure. Okay. Mm. I'll go to the gym with Corazon afterwards. There are people who are offering. <laughs> Corazon, what does work-life balance look like to you? Linda, what makes Corazon Corazon? So I have Genio, which um, I'm the CEO. So I have a days that I go for Genio. Mm. Every day I go to the gym. That's part of my life. Mm. Every day I make sure that I spend some time with the kids. And every week I make sure that I spend time with my friends. So even if it, it's once a week, I make sure that I spend time with my friends and do something that I enjoy. Kama sasa kuenda sai, health gate, I'm um, sitting down and having a drink. So I'm, I'm figuring it out, but I haven't figured it out yet. Things that pour into your cup. Because yeah. that's the cup you pour from. Yes, yeah, so I make sure that at least... I don't focus on maybe just being a mom because sometimes people become moms and then they forget about everything else. Linda, what makes Corazon Corazon? I have a very good answer for that. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'd a very good that. one indeed. Mm -hmm. Can I be honest? Yes. For me, I feel like when I first met her, I had this impression of her based on who the person she is or the person that I, I don't know if she's portrayed, portrayed. on social yeah. media. Um, uh, the, the person that you let us see on social media, yeah. and also what now other people mm. portray you as. Mm. So I had that kind of mentality, and then I got to know, as in by the way, the person that you are in real life <laughs> is not who is you it? are on social <laughs> oh. media. Too sweet. You're, she's very nice. Mm. You're very humble. Uh, it's not me who's just said that. Like mm. even my friends who you've met, they're like. Mm. She's so down to earth. As in, I want you social media, mm, celeb, mm. and you what to most on your social media, mm, mm. and you're fun. You know how to let loose. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah she knows how to. <laughs> she knows how to have a good time. Thank you so much. See you're you're welcome. Welcome. Yeah. So we're about to take pictures, a few videos here and there, then we proceed with the Q and A. Ring on it. Mm. I'm not claiming anyone. Mm. I like that. I like that. 
how do you deal with feeling left behind in life especially when everyone around you seems to be moving on for me being left behind in life it's something that happens to me like that feeling i get it but very momentarily like i get it for like three minutes oh my god oh my god oh my god and i get a, a rush of panic mm -hmm. but then i always remind myself that i'm in i'm in a, a place where mm -hmm. i didn't even expect that i would be in a few years back mm -hmm. so I never feel left behind. Sometimes, yes, you see, maybe someone who's your friend or someone you know, then you get a rush of panic. Oh my God, am I not doing the right thing? Yeah. But then I quickly just remind myself that I'm in a place where this is a life I dreamed of mm. some years back. Mm. And then I just move on. If in case uh, anyone is watching, Ama or whatever, and you're mm. an overthinker like me, the best advice I can give you is mm. to not dwell. Mm. Because mm. half the time, most of the things we worry about, mm -hmm never come to fruition should i go ahead and pass you something despite being described by so many people this is the same person that asked about uh, feeling, feeling left, left behind. behind okay yeah because i mean you want to listen to people like mm -hmm. don't listen to people like don't if know. if i listen to people and i think if linda listen to people anyone listen to people if jeff bezos mm -hmm. listen to people even if the facebook guy mm -hmm. what's his name Mark Zuckerberg. Mark, if Mark Zuckerberg listen to anyone, I'm mm. a be don't quit school, mm. stay in college, don't follow your dream. This is not gonna work. Mm. They wouldn't be where they are. So if you want to be somewhere, mm. then you have to just learn how to like silence the noise and just focus on what you want. Yeah, and push through. What was your first job? The one I'm working right now. The way I work right now, I'm a public servant. I've always had that job. I've been there for like, the last eight years. So. My first job was a teacher. I was 17. I had just finished high school. I just I was serious? one of the youngest in that school. You know, she was a late. So eh. they were like 19 year old, 20 year olds. Mm. The school was, it's uh, Dr. Ezra Alogumbi. Uh -huh. Because I left school and I had an A. Mm -hmm. So I went and applied for a job. I used mm -hmm. to earn 4,000. It mm -hmm. was fun. Everybody, I used to. In fact, I even I think I even had a relationship with one of the teachers. No, not one of the teachers. They were too old. One sorry. of the students. Sorry. Horrible. Horrible. Sorry, sorry. But I was seventeen in my defense. I, okay. I got an ID. Nikiwa mm malimu. -hmm. Like when the students were being wana chukuliwa fanya ID. I was a teacher and I didn't even line as students. So. Who wanna wanna apply ID? Yeah, that was my first job. So I'm in charge. Me the wale walimu. No one's going to judge you. That's a beautiful story. Come on, me Come on, me as an okay. Now we are you currently or have you ever engaged in any online jobs if yes what is the online job no i have not done any online jobs the only thing that i've, I've done that which is so far fetched from online jobs is activation jobs. Zile a club. Where In campus. But online jobs, no. Online jobs, no. And you? Yeah, I've done some writing jobs here and there. News of Pandikama articles and then you are. What would you say is one thing that strengthens your friendship? Eh, Kila mtu kuna pesa. <laughs> I think that's a beautiful thing about the friendship because even when we go to like eat mm. at one six seven we will pull a one thousand two hundred we pull a one thousand three hundred just divide the bill so that's like a beautiful thing yeah and also like I feel like it's honesty and honesty mm. and also building each other like you know I support her she mm. supports me yeah and I feel like that's such a, a nice thing about our friendship I would agree how do you maintain your lifestyle Dr. please. I have a job. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I think it's because I, I actually I do show that part of my life on mm. YouTube. Again, this must be someone who maybe exclusively follows me on Instagram. But I work. I'm a public servant. Mm. And then aside from that, of course, I also do content creation. And then aside from that, if whoever I'm seeing at the moment, if you're dating me, you have to contribute to my life. You cannot be dating me. Now. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm. So what's your biggest lesson in your 20s? What would you tell your 25 year old self? Mm -hmm regarding relationship and money uh when it comes to money for me i can say i've always been good with money uh, in the sense that i think i've mentioned before that personally i paid for my masters and my phd so since kinky tambo i've always been good with money so there's not really much i can add or take away the only thing that i've noticed lately is that i have wasted a lot of money on buying a lot of unnecessary things kwanza nguo 
I have wasted a lot of money on, on apparel. So, the one thing I tell myself, me, you don't have to jump on every trend. Mm. Every trend, every, every other day, mm. a new trend, mm. new trend. You end up wasting so much money, and then you wear those clothes once, twice in Shaisha fashion. Some of them are very low quality. You can't even keep them for a long time. Mm. And then, in terms of uh, relationship, I would tell myself, not every date you're called for, you have to just be a bit more choosy with who you're giving your time to. What about you? Mimi. Have fun. Like, don't overthink relationships. Mm. Not every relationship is going to lead to marriage. marriage. Not every relationship is going to... Sure, I, as, it, as she says, mm. don't date people who are wasting your time. But mm. also, don't overthink mm. relationships. Mm. So, at this point, when you're... When you're when you're telling yourself not to overthink relationships, is it at 20 or 25? 25. Or 25. Yeah. Okay. Mimi at Ampaka imagine at my age, I still mm. say I'm not overthinking any relationship. As you, exactly. That's how we should be. Say, mm. kuna mtu amen, okay, actually, kuna stuali, mekuja, before this about Valentine's. Mm. And you're just like, ikikuja, hey, sawa. Ikikuja, ikikuja, ispokuja, ni sawa. Kuna no pressure. Mm. And you know, the only way you can have that kind of mentality is if you have your own. Aki ladies, please. Misawa atukatai, we want the men with money, we want high value men, but also you be a high value woman yeah. so that you feel your pressure. I have to date, I have to date, yeah, I have to date, I have to date, I have to date, that's my new way, that's my new way. If you have your own, aki iki waki waki spa waki, we move. We are going to watch. I'm a summer, let's talk about saving money. And yo, this is not finding a passion in life. Yani na kumbia. Wow, ato sije na tare mo pangele profit. Yendo kumbia kanga bi. Watch out, fresh. By the way, you don't even need to mesema. Akuna, don't pressure. The more pressure you put on yourself in finding a partner in life, the more it will be. Yes, you out a partner. Then you know people can, especially men, they can pick up on that. When you have that kind of desperation, they can pick up on that. Even us, we can pick up on a guy really likes you. I'm a simp. You can feel na unampele kanga bi na ingia ta utampele. So, so just chesa chini, chesa chini, relax. But the thing is, Nairobi now akuna wanaume. Why? Yo, let's just yo. Acha tu tu kumali. Yo na yo si wongo. Why? The men are scarce. Actually, let's say quality, quality men. men. Quality Wako men. Wakowengi. Mm. Bye bye quality. men. Akuna wameisha. Tabidi tu hamia mahali. Mm. <laughs> hey. Why usi wonge by the way? Kona mtu. <laughs> <laughs> I have shut my big mouth. Okay. Do you want Dr. anything from neighbors? No, we can stop by. We stop. need some snacks. We have stopped at neighbors. So I need to get a savannah. Someone said Savannah needs to start paying me and I agree. I am manifesting it for myself. So let me find it. Hey, Mimi. Hey, Mimi. Let me tell you, I have literally just said that when I was walking here. Oh. I have literally just because someone in Shikiaba, someone in the comment said, Hey, Savannah needs to start paying you now. Whoever, whoever is, is running this, they need, well, uh, yes. they need to pay me now. Okay, so now Corazon is driving. Yay. At least I get to rest. <laughs> Now let's move on with the questions. To look at me, figure. How do you know QP? Mm. Uh, I've known QP for about ten years. We met on Instagram. You Believe met on Instagram. Yeah, we met on Instagram. She she commented on one of my pictures. I can hear me. Hey, see you have a nice body. We nika shangani nani? Which which girl is this? Your Instagram was such a small community. Mm. Who is this complimenting me like this? Nika na po Instagram ya ke. Kuangali ya na na mimi mimi na nani ya? Eh, Nicole, wait. You, you're the one with the nice body, and imagine the rest is history. Mm. We've been friends ever since. By then, I also know Kipi. We were neighbors in Langata. That's how we meet each other. But Kipi has such a good heart. What? She really does. Hey, From back then. Eh. Mm. She really does. From back I, then. To Rosa, I I'm Kabisa, mm. genuine person. I, how to survive as a philanthropist? I don't understand that. Are question. you a philanthropist? I, mean, I, I do, do good, yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't consider myself a philanthropist. Yeah. Like, philanthropist just seems like someone who's taking it up as a career. Yes, that's what you do full time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, for me, I'm not sure how to answer this because we just you just share what you can, but I wouldn't mm. say it. We do philanthropic mm. deeds. Yes, exactly. Okay, what motivates you to wake up every morning and do what you do? I am money motivated. For being I'm money a summer for her, it's money. For him, actually. Oh, okay. It's money. For you? 
yeah the desire to have a a good life in future mm -hmm. desire to relax mm -hmm. and have a smooth old old age mm -hmm. you I like that i think i'd say same early retirement you know mm. live a comfortable life just be able to wake up and do whatever i want and not have to answer to anyone how to be productive in your 20s i feel like i'm wasting myself Hey, twenties now, when a pressure, what? Wow. Pressure, what were twenties? Wasting your life at twenty. Would you enjoy, please? You're yeah, not wasting your down. life. Try to do. I think like maybe take a few hours of the day to do something that will better you mentally and uh, physically. I have an alarm at midday. When the alarm rings, then it reminds me to reevaluate what I've done so far. Have I done anything that will better my business? Have mm. I done something that will better me mentally? Mm. And have I done something that will better me physically? So if I was just sleeping in bed mm. and the alarm rings, then mm. it's time for me to get up and do something. Do something. I think actually I don't have anything anything to add. Uh, I mean, as long as you're not wasting all your time mm, doing nothing. I will learn it all. Yeah, then that's okay. Because 20s are for like figuring out what career path you want to take, mm. you know, um, Where your do passions. You even want? Mm. Do you even want to live in Nairobi? Exactly. Do you want to travel out of the country? Exactly. So, yes, just take, take it, it easy. easy. Mm. <laughs> then, also, something else uh, to Julia Grace Mwaniki. You finished your statement by saying, I feel like I'm wasting myself. Don't worry. I feel like everyone goes through that phase in your 20s where you feel like you literally don't know what you're doing. You're just mark timing. Mm. But it will come with time. OCG, OCG, pay pressure. Just take your time. Be patient with yourself. Accord yourself some grace because eventually, a very few people who have the epiphany in their At 20s. At a young age, yeah. yeah. Most people in Apujanga later. Later. Mm. 28, so 30. You got a, let's not even put an mm. age to it. Later. Yeah, just later. Mm. It can even come in your 40s. Who knows? And it doesn't mean that it's any less than the person who discovered it in their 20s. It's your path and it's your journey mm. and you're supposed to. That's how it was intended to be. And you guys are unlucky, minima, Gen Z, because you have a lot of people on social media. You have a lot of people on 20, you have a lot of people on 20, you have a lot of people on 20, you think, oh my God, this person mm. is doing so good. Maybe she's a TikToker, you think, oh my God, she's getting deals, she's making money. Mm. But you maybe you have a lot of people on 20. Yeah, exactly, it could just be smoking mirrors. It yes. could be smoking, it could be fake. Mm. It could be mubaba and yamem keep mm. ujui vitu anapitia uko like behind the scenes. Ujui. So, your journey is your journey. Watch up with your pressure. You're not wasting your life. Yeah. Have you ever been heartbroken before? Mm. And if yes, how do you deal with it? I think you'll go first. Have I ever been heartbroken more than once? Wait. More than once, more than twice, I've been heartbroken. But um, I, I wouldn't. I don't know how to deal with it because everyone deals with it differently. There are people who say, you know, get under someone to get over someone. So there are people who like to take a moment to like rediscover themselves, and that works for them. As you get over it, as you cry, as you go through the pain, and as you imagine that, you know, the, you'll never see an end to it. Just know that for sure a hundred percent and take it from, from someone who's been really really hard you just have to ride the wave because at the end of the wave utakuna angalia nyuma unasema wa ni mimi nilikuwa nataka kujiuwa kwa sababu ya mwanaume there is nothing in this world that time doesn't heal and kama ni for sure kitu enye time ina heal ni heartbreak ya mwanaume so yeah that's my advice <laughs> take me. over to you thank you now I think we need to pause because the road is rough yeah, I'll just go really, really slow. Actually, we need to pace you to have a guide. Oh, and you you and your health block. get to my figure. Yeah, it's 
beautiful. So I've stopped the car, but I can see them approaching up. How was it? It was fun. Okay, so Corazon has insisted to walk. So to me Bakikwa Gary with Sophie and I was just basically asking her why this place is called Hell's Gate and then while she was explaining I was like watch any wash camera I'll explain you so go ahead tell us what Hell's Gate uh, the name was derived in two thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. There was that eruption that happened in Mount Longorot. Mm -hmm. And when it happened the lava flew up to this point. Mm -hmm. The indigenous people here are the masses. Mm -hmm. So the masses were covered by the lava with mm -hmm. this homestead. Mm -hmm. Those who are able to escape, they mm -hmm. were escaped saying the hell has broken loose. Mm -hmm. Masai believe they were dropped from heaven mm -hmm. to a cow skin. Mm -hmm. And when they came on earth, those people who misbehaved and did bad things, mm -hmm. they were consumed by fire. Mm -hmm. So to them, the lava mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. a punishment from, from God mm -hmm. for those people who did bad. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in 1883, mm -hmm. there was an explorer who was coming to this place mm -hmm. by the name of Gasro Fitcher and mm -hmm. Thompson. Mm -hmm. So when they were passing through this area, they wanted to know why the place is called Hell's Gate. Mm -hmm. And they were narrated the story. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, it is Thompson, uh, Thompson and Gus of Fisher mm -hmm. who named them the place Hell's Gate. Mm -hmm. But over time there are so many things, uh, bad things that has been happening. Mm -hmm. Like the last, that is 2019, mm -hmm. we lost uh, seven, uh, seven Indian tourists mm -hmm. who had come through the, to visit Hell's Gate. Mm -hmm. And they died at uh, the gorges, mm. which was yes, I've been a, there. A, a it's actually very beautiful. Mm. Again, in 2014, we lost some lives. Mm. And that it was the PC women. Yes, that one I Before remember. That, we had lost again uh, some youths. Mm -hmm. So it's like uh, calculatively, they mm. say after seven years, something mm. tragic has to happen. Mm. All said and done, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful place, mm -hmm. beautiful sceneries. Mm. It's only that people are magnified the word hell's gate. Hell. But yes. it's a beautiful place. It really be. is. Yeah. It really is. Like now where we're facing as we're waiting for Corazon to come, it's just, yeah, it's just a beautiful awesome. landscape. Finally, I get to participate in the walk. To Nenda, two, basically so in total four kilometers. We're going to see the gorges. Um, the gorge. Let me stop saying the gorges. The gorge. As I mentioned, I was here in 2016 and I saw it and I got to walk through it. Sorry, now it's closed because oftentimes people pass away in there. So. Can I try for Kenya? Oh, yeah. We're heading back. Kuna Thanda. I'm scared, I have asthma, and I've already walked like 4km, dude, like that's it's too much, it's so dull, all of a sudden, it's so dull. On this side, it looks like it's sunny, but as you can see when I turn this way, 
very down. So. We finally left Hell's Gate Kitambo. We are at Mateo's. We are about to finish the QA, but first, pictures. Oh, and I'm not naked. I'm wearing this dress. <laughs> I know it looks like I'm naked, but I'm not. QA in Endelea shortly. Okay. <laughs> to my man is a hike. Mood is a loki dogo. To my beats. So we'll just try answer a few more questions, like the final ones. So we barely remember where we left off. But I think the last question was, have you guys experienced body privilege? Like how you have pretty privilege? I think my body, for the most part, it has worked against me. Really? And I think people just assume because you have a nice body, mm -hmm. that's all you have. Oh, really? Mm. But do you honestly feel like you would be where you are as a content creator if, it was, if you didn't have your body? Mm, no. To be honest, I honestly feel like it has worked against me. How so? I would really love to know. Because mm. if I didn't have this body, I wouldn't even be a socialite. Mm. You know? Mm. I would probably be practicing law. I don't know. I, yeah. If it was a privilege, I don't think it worked towards bettering my life. Yeah. Maybe at that time, I thought, okay, life is easy. I yeah. just, I'm traveling, I'm yeah. doing this, I'm doing that. But mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. I feel like it worked overall against, against you. Yes, because even working, mm -hmm. being employed, mm -hmm. the bosses used to just hit on me, and I don't think they were hitting on me because of anything but my body. Mm. That's interesting. I would have never thought you'd say that. I thought we'd get my yes, it's worked for me. Mm. And know? for you? I would say yes. To be honest, it has worked for me. For you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at least Uno Nasasa, I think maybe it's the time that you, when you came up, your time, anyone who was famous, a corner story of content creators, I'm influencers, you mm -hmm. were a socialite. Yes. So I think for you, maybe that's how it's, that maybe your word socialite, you know, it may have affected you yes, in a way. Yes, maybe. Eh. Mm. But for me, because I'm mm. a when at least I'm your platform, yeah, influencers, content creators, most people know me because of my content, but then I'm going that aspect of PhD. Mm -hmm. So to me, and I honestly feel like if I did not look the way I looked, mm. people wouldn't care as much. How many doctors do I do usually maybe, see online? Maybe, Let's maybe. just be very honest. I see some yeah. very, very talented neurosurgeons, gynecologists, Kenyan doctors. They don't get as much acknowledgement as they should. So to me, I feel like to some extent, oh, it may benefit. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm the prettiest Maybe it also in the depends world. on the magnitude of how big, Yeah. like how curvy you are. Mm, maybe. Yes. Cause okay. if it's just oh. like moderately curvy, mm. okay, mm. too curvy, then people just assume who yeah. you are. You're easily sexualized. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Like okay. everybody sexualizes you, but if you're curvy, mm. maybe you can escape with it. But mm. like if you're like too curvy, yeah, come away, then sister. obviously, like every man just wants to sexualize you. Like mm. even if you want something, like you're being serious about, like something that you need. Mm. That's why I just decided. You know what? I'm just gonna be my own boss, do my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. You are such a nice combo. So brainy, no drama. May God keep the friendship. Aww. Amen. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> we pray so. <laughs> Something you regret in your 20s. I don't have any regrets. Do you? Um, you know what? Momentarily, I do, I do have those moments where I'm like, I regret doing this. Mm. I regret doing that. But then... I also think if it were not for those particular choices, I wouldn't be where, be where I am. Mm -hmm. So I do I really regret? Me, if anything, I regret dating some people. Honestly. Wait. But only one person. <laughs> Ooh. Some extra, some Ugandan extra I have. Hey. Hey. That I wanted to tell you. Are you sure? 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 Are you guys open to making new friends? Like if I meet someone in Rivad, fine. Yeah. I'm, don't you don't yeah. go open, I'm, I'm not looking. open, I'm not closed. I don't, yeah. yeah. Come here and say, well, I'm not actively looking for new friends. Because mm. the way people are so... Mm. People mm. are just interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Corazon, would you want another child? Yeah. You do? Mm. The same person asks, do you want to have kids? I do. Mm. At some point, with the right person, hopefully under within right a marriage, yeah, under the right circumstances, yes, I would love to have kids. Nini mm. inakusumbua? Eh? Oh, I'm trying to make it Nini ina kusumbua na kaenda. That's direct. What? Mm. Nini ina kusumbua? Nini ina What inspires you most about Corazon, be it character-wise or personality-wise, all is allowed. 
Mm. Mm. I mean, as I say, your resilience, mm. How? especially with like the things that you've gone through online publicly. Mm. I know to you, you're like, ah, that's not a big deal, but mm. me, I, 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 I don't know. You feel like it's something it's to not admire. easy. <laughs> it's, it's something. It's something to appreciate oh. because, eh, mm -mm, it's not easy. During yeah. your single phase, was it hard to let someone into your space? Amani mimi too. What? Hmm. I still struggle. It's very hard. Get... It's so hard. Mm. Mimi, this is the only time I think. I don't know. I think I don't know how old you are, but like in my earlier years, it wasn't hard to get people into my space. But right now, mm. where I am, mm. I am too choosy. Like it's really hard to get to allow people to into my space. So mm. dating is actually a challenge. I would agree. As a Mimi, I have OCD. I'm a neat freak. There's a specific way I like my things. Mm. So me, I struggle in the sense like when someone is in my space, I'm consciously thinking like, what are you doing? Why are you touching that? What are you? Any, mm. as in evil, but not like at emotionally. Emotionally, mm. I'm I'm okay. okay. Physically, you're not too But for you, I understand because you have kids. more emotionally than mm, physically. Than physically. Yeah. Try to post on YouTube more often. I'm always there, wishing you posted every day. I don't know if this is directed to me or her. <laughs> But so, I'm trying, guys. Like, you know, balancing the, the platforms, you're like making sure I have content for Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and then edit. I still have an 8 to 5. It's, it's, a lot. it's not easy. Doing, but, even doing once a week, you're, do, you're trying. Yeah. So, but I will. To Tawana, I, for honestly, right now, I can't promise more than once a week. But maybe if I had a team, like videographer, mm. makeup artist, stylist, Nini, I think it would be easier. But now, I'm alone. How long do you think someone should take between meeting someone new and dating them? How can I time here? Yeah. If you're feeling the that person, we move. Mm. Dating advice, especially for someone single. The first, first thing that has come to mind is just be careful out here. Yeah, as in with the side and mm. all that, just be careful. When you go on dates, just make sure it's somewhere, somewhere public. You're not meeting people in private, especially people you're not familiar with. And then yeah. I always say, just listen to your gut. Yeah, your intuition. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Move. Move. How do you make new friends in adulthood? I think it just depends on the environment, honestly. Mm. But it's Very not random. easy. Mm. But it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy. If you have friends from childhood, I think it's easier to just hold on to hold them. Hold on to them. Mm. Yeah. Fix whatever issues you have with, unless if it's extremely toxic. But if you have someone you can hold on to, just. You're better off doing that. Have you ever decided to grow your hair long again? Me, no. Mm -hmm. I doubt it's you. Yeah, me, I'm okay with my wigs. Never going back. The femicide thing, it's real. But how are these killers luring women? Slay culture? Question mark. Crucial topic. It's not slay culture. I mean, like, people are being killed in their homes. People are being killed in the, in the ghetto. People are being killed in the village. Nothing to do with slay culture. Horrible mm. people, horrible men are just horrible men. Yeah. Let's not try and justify the murderer because mm -hmm. then we exempt them. When is slay culture and the men's side? Mm. People slayed even in the 70s. Mm. Yeah. And no one was being chopped up yeah. and thrown in the forest. Mm. Like, come on. No. Akuna story is slay culture. Po. And some of these women, you know, we, we're just assuming because we don't know their stories. Maybe they were self made. And self-made doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have a boyfriend. Eh, ati mtu drive gari kubwa. You can be having your simple job and you're okay. Like you just want someone to love you, not necessarily to give you money. But eh, get to your femicide. So you end up meeting one woman because you think maybe you can have a relationship. Not. It's not always that you still have to meet a man. It's about money. I think that's even like thinking so low of our women like mm. i think every other time they get with a man they want money mm. i mean it's it's good if the guy has money but that's not all what all women want and not to mention if you yourself you have money as a woman why would you want someone who's broke yeah it's only fair that you get someone who at least matches you or is above you so let's not try and yeah, like, excuse some of these things with slay cultures wrong is wrong have you guys ever had to deal with men getting insecure about your success? And if so, how to deal? I would smell it so early on in a relationship that I wouldn't even date that person. Mm. Have you, you need someone who celebrates you. If you're in a relationship with someone and they tell you they don't like when you do certain things, maybe you guys can come to a common ground and just compromise. However, someone who's just outrightly telling you, don't do this, I don't want you to run your business like this, I don't. I, I think that's a red flag. Because your person should celebrate you, mm. should be your biggest cheerleader. That's just my opinion. 
At this point in your lives, would you honestly date a broke man? Mm. I would. I have my own money. If I date someone who supports me, supports my dreams, supports my business, mm. supports my kids, mm -hmm. I would date. I, I wouldn't even care. But as in your person, <laughs> now, you expect Namlisha, but I'm not support you. I'm broke. What do you expect? I'm broke. 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 So, which broke are you talking about? Like, cannot, like, doesn't give me money. Okay, okay. So, okay. Yes. But takes care of himself, of himself, takes care of some things in the house, mm -hmm. and supports me. Okay. Mm -hmm. For well, me, no. <laughs> That's a short answer. <laughs> How different or similar are your personalities and how does this affect your friendship? We are very different, to be honest. We are extremely different. But I think differences are what make us complement each other, I would think so. We do have some similarities, of course, that's why we are friends. We have some things in common, maybe mm. a few struggles in there that we, we can both relate, relate to. Yeah. But not necessarily personalities. Eh, our, pers our personalities are so different. And the skin is giving in this sun. Mm. Yeah, to me, sun to me glow. Mm. Corazon, hi. How to deal with a baby daddy? All aspects. So I don't know how to answer, but I would just say, mm -hmm. just do you. Jitegeme, mm jiangadie, -hmm. jifurahishe. Then, for that reason, if you're content, probably the relationship with you and your baby daddy will be easier. Okay. A guy dumped me, claiming he needed space to figure out his life financially mm. should i take him back i think mm. yeah mm. he was honest he told you that that's a very it. responsible guy Absolutely. <laughs> take him back what's your type tell us we want to know go first imagine i want a type i used to have a type i would i would i used to like men with like you know Dreads, bad boy look, mm. la, la 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 la. But lately, I just I don't have a type. I think I like someone who has his shit together and is kind and is understanding and is patient. You know, if you're hot, you wouldn't hurt. So, what does hot mean to you? Oh, for you, it's more personality than physical. Mm, but physical, if you're, you know. You know, by the way, I can't date someone who doesn't go to the gym. Mm. Let me say, okay, my type is someone who actually works out and takes care of their body. So he needs to look good. Same at Uivo. As in, aside from his kind, his all this, he needs to look good. No, but you know, there are people who run, they're skinny, but at mm. least they take care of their body. They don't look... <laughs> like, I wouldn't consider a skinny man yeah. good looking physically to me. Mm. Like, I think when you say, like, body physically, for a man, it's like built. Okay. But no, it's just, you just have to like take care of yourself. I don't, I hate, I feel like if you just sit at home and you're not working out, you're not doing any sport, you're not running. Yeah. To me as a man, I just feel like it's, Conf it's a it's sign of a laziness. Okay. Yeah, it's not a turn on. Okay. So for me, it's very easy. I don't have a physical type. Of course, you have to be tall, significantly tall, but not like a TV past six two, not a six one, no, because I'm, I'm short, I'm five, five two. So Sorry, mm -hmm. that I said, I would prefer someone who's tall. However, mm -hmm. for me, I wouldn't say physical really matters. So basically, um, my personality, I'm an alpha female. If you get to know me, you'll realize like I just have those alpha tendencies. So I cannot be with a beta for sure. Like you and me, I'm me. You cannot be a beta because then I will be the one wearing the pants in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So to me, mm -hmm. you just have to have that aura. You know that masculine aura where like you can. I think most when when women are watching this, they relate. There are men who just command the room, like they just have a thing about them. Like wakiongea too, you just feel mm. Mm, who you are. Me same point. Mm. So for me, I feel like you just have to be an alpha male, mm -hmm. and then of course now the other th things come after that. God fearing, respectful. Mm. Um, of course, also I need to be able to as much as you're an alpha alpha male, you can't just be nonchalant. Mm. Eh, I tried dating a nonchalant guy once. <laughs> It did not work out for me. Me did attention. I'm the last one. How do you maintain your body shape? In fact, how you got to that? Um, it's genetics. How do I maintain it? Gen still yeah. genetics. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But still genetics. You know, yeah. mm. genetics play a big role in how I look and how I continue to look. Yeah. Mm. But I also go to the gym. Mm -hmm. I won't lie. I eat, but I'm working on it. I eat really badly, but I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. But 
I work out. I enjoy working out. So okay. That helps. So for me, again, I would like what she said, genetics. My body type is an ect Okay, I'm more of an ectomorph, but I'm a mix between an ectomorph and a mesomorph. So basically, I I wouldn't say I eat much. And even if I do, because Mrs. Sema Ati, I actively try to diet. It's just that I just don't. I'm mm. not a big feeder. And then, what else? Mm, Nibo. I used to work out Kitambo. I It's never that serious. So I hope that answers your question. You both are smart. What reading strategy do you both use to understand what you are reading? For me, I'm a visual learner. Period. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I have some sort of photographic memory. I think I hear something, I see something, I learn something, I really forget. Why didn't you speak about the femicide issue? To me, I feel like if I'm not going to be able to do something qua ground about the issue, I would rather not talk about it. E story of femicide, to be honest, it didn't affect sana. As in me hearing those stories of, oh, another body has been found, where, where, blah, blah, blah. It was very traumatizing for me, okay? However, I thought, maybe it's because I'm new to the space, which I told her this morning that this is something that I'm learning from her. To me, I thought if I'm not going to do something about it, no one would care if I posted about it or not. But clearly, a lot of people were bothered by it. So I guess I can just say it's a learning curve. I can't say there's anything specific that made me not to talk about it. Maybe because also when I create content, it's not necessarily about current issues. So maybe that's why I felt, okay, no one would care. But to my surprise, people re were really bothered about it. So my sincere apologies, I'll do better. I don't have. Yes, people I like people to like, talk about things because then it brings attention to it. But <clears throat> sometimes even talking about something, and I'm not saying this, hey, I'm seeing I'm attack. I'm just saying like sometimes putting so much light on something negative usually even brings worse results mm. like the, when and we started talking ideas. about and give, giving bad people even more ideas mm. we were talking about it mm -hmm. um that jeff jeffrey dama yes jeffrey movie dama. Even he the way yes. Right now, yes the documentary from everywhere yes. eating the, doing the cases all sorts of, of rubbish yes so it's yeah. so mimi I, I think for me, like for femicide, I would just say, and I said it on my Instagram, women, young girls, I think young girls will suffer most because they will target you because they feel like you're still naive, you don't know much about life, maybe things excite you. Please always listen to yourself, listen to your gut and listen to just skizza too. Like if you feel like some energy is off, just mm. avoid, see mm. asthma. Mm. I like that. Are you married? Can I have your number? Hmm? Me, I'm not married. I don't mean I'm not married, but Nikon I'm too so for now. Hopefully to work out. Eh, sure. You know, but who number you go Come on. Answer the number. Account number. Then we go from there. Are y'all feminists? I am a feminist. However, I think people people assume that when you say you're a feminist, it you're means a that radical. Eh. But you see, like now I was seeing someone um arguing on tiktok and they were like oh me i'm not a feminist i believe that uh, a woman should stay home take care of the of the household blah 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 but what this person forgets is feminism is not about forcing people to go to out work. and work it's for women to have a choice if you want to stay, stay home, home well and good if you want to go out and work well and good if you want to be selling your body more power to you it's yeah. about the choice so of course 100 percent, i am a feminist but i'm not like I'm not in all about it like really at yes let's at 50 50 in a relationship eh, miss me with that. <laughs> that's where i draw the line <laughs> miss me <laughs> miss me with that and you yeah i'm a feminist i support women i support that i i support that women should have a choice i support that women should be considered equal to men mm -hmm. you know when it comes to work when it comes to like all aspects of life mm -hmm. I'm team girl, girl power. Mm. But I also am not too radical here. Men can go to hell. Uh -uh. Mm. We need men. Yeah, I love men. We do. Well, I would think sometimes, but <laughs> we can't live without them. So, Linda, are you still friends with your bestie QP? 
yes we're still good friends i think most people just assume that if you're not posting someone then you've fallen out mm. we both have our lives going on we've been very busy but we talk on a daily basis i literally even just spoke to cupid in the car before we got here so we are still good friends we're still okay um when you say bestie i don't know if you're trying to allude to the fact that she's my best friend cupid is my friend okay so me personally and i'm not saying this to offend anyone or to be rude to anyone but me i don't have best friends i just have friends I have friends in general. Sina story, this is my best friend. As in, I'm, I'm segregating her from the rest of, of my friends and saying that this Who is my favorite one. The most? I just have friends. I love QP. She's one of the closest people to me. No, we have not fallen out. But PMC, assuming that it's just because you've not, you have not posted her, or because you've not posted someone, what will we fall out? We, we're busy people. But eh, we're still friends to answer your question. Hmm? Oh, that's the last question. Finally, yay! We're this was done. fun. <laughs> it was right. Mm -hmm. Please go subscribe and also check out uh, Corazon's vlog. So her vlog for the day was mostly about the actual activities that we did, and then for me, I was doing the Q and A. So mm -hmm. I will put her her YouTube Link. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So please go check her out. Um, she has a lot of fun stuff on there. And Fuki Gostiwa, Gostika. There's a song like that, right? I don't know it too. Anyway, Ghostika. Okay. Ghostika. Thank you so guys. Cheers. This was really fun and thank you for your questions. Yeah, thank you for participating. Aki, thank you so much. Dactari Squad, we are almost at 30k subscribers. Thank you so much. More and more content to come. If there's anything we didn't answer, feel free to let us know. By the way, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Please be respectful. We are also humans. Let us know your thoughts on all the topics we talked about. If you have more questions, more comments, uh, compliments, leave them below. I'm done for the day. I'm clocking out. I need to just chill out and eat because I haven't been eating. All right. Bye, Dr. Squad. Mwah.